Thank you, Kobe, for being an inspiration to all of us, you know, in terms of not just on the basketball court, but something bigger beyond basketball. Uh, thank you again for, you know, showing us what our true potential is, for being that icon, for being that role model, and to showcase and believe in, like, in empowering women and young, and, and young female athletes. me uh, in terms of basketball uh, but also in life uh, I learned a lot from you to be you know uh, mentally tough and um, also you know to be able to go through roadblocks and any challenges um. Just his athleticism and watching what he can do on the court when he crossed over Matt Barnes with the, with the jersey in his mouth. Um, just some of the stuff he did, the way he didn't flinch when Matt Barnes had him um, with the ball fake right to his face. Kobe was a girl dad and a true advocate of the women's game, which I admire and I find inspiration in. As a girl coach, I want to continue this journey that he started. on the court but what I take away from him is how he was off the court and how uh, impactful he was to people and, and whether it be helping them but being a family man especially he he's setting such a great example for all of us you know what I'm saying um, balancing being a champion and being a father he's showing us that there's no excuse I know you're looking down on us and you just blessed everyone with your presence here on earth. You were such a hard worker and you inspired so many athletes. You inspired me. You taught me the value of hard work. And there's just countless stories and now videos that have just been popped up of your, your best plays, your work ethic. And I want to say thank you, Kobe. Thank you, Kobe, for being the Black Mamba and thank you for being a legend. Mamba mentality that you started, it transcended beyond basketball. It became bigger than basketball. I mean, I think it even became bigger than you. And I hope that you know that you've done a lot more than just the game of basketball. It provided us with a mentality that I think we should all live by and we should all try to try to really strive for. It. Be different. Give back to the community as much as you can and always remember that it's more than just basketball. I just want to thank you for the impact that you brought in this world, and I can only hope to be as impactful as you one day. I want to say thank you, Kobe. You will never be forgotten. Your legacy will live on forever. Thank you for teaching us, you know, to be a different animal and the same beast. I hope to live by your example, even a portion of what impact that you've made into the world and to the basketball community. Thank you so much, Kobe.
I just want to give a big shout out and love to everybody that I've reached out to and responded back to me and provided me with all the videos. It was heartfelt, genuine, and it really came from the heart in terms of what Kobe has meant for you guys. Really appreciate it. And so that's all we guys, uh, that's all we have for Pinoy Bounce. And I'm going to throw it to my guys right here, Ingrid. Any last words you want to say out there? Um, uh, be sure to check us out on all social media platforms, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube, and on Facebook. Uh, just to let everybody know, you know, life is too short. Don't take anything for granted and just, you know, appreciate one another and love one another. To, you know, to the, to the young girls that are athletes, you do not have to, you don't have to be a boy just to live up to your father's name or anything. You can do no matter whatever you set your mind to. So that's just my takeaway from everything from all of this. So um, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, to Gigi Bryant. Um, you know, to the rest of the families and the and the pilot that passed away, um, to the to their families that are, you know, enduring this kind of pain. Um, you know, our prayers are out for you. Yeah. Friends, any last words? Yeah. Um, you know, I just want to thank uh, you know Kobe Bryant for you know uh, inspiring me, um, not just in basketball but also in life. Um, I just want to say prayers too to. Everyone that was a part of the tragedy, all the families that were affected. I know um, other fans were, uh, you know, uh, mourning about Kobe's loss too. So, um, you know, um, a lesson that we learn here is just to appreciate everybody and, uh, you know, friends, family, whoever. Because you never know uh, when your time is up. So, hmm. so. And Adam, any last words? I know I brought you here for a reason as well because you're doing some awesome stuff for your company and for the victims of the Volcano Taal. So take it up. Yeah, first I obviously want to give my condolences to the Bryant family. <clears throat> uh, Kobe Bryant was, uh, played a pretty big impact in my life as far as just like kind of him again being that master of his craft and then like kind of having laser focus on hitting his goals in life, which kind of resonates in me. <clears throat> so I guess going back to the what's happening in the Philippines, there's obviously the on January 12th there was the Taal volcano erupted and kind of devastated that area uh, with covered it in ash. So what we've been doing actually in the last week or so, we've been trying to raise some money uh, to donate to the Taal volcano victims. Um, right now our goal is $12,000 to donate. We've hit 4,000 with about 500 supporters uh, globally. So I just wanted to like put that out there uh, and hope you guys can contribute and help us um, raise this money. We're, we're, we'll be donating about 50% of the profits towards that, uh, towards them. Yeah. And thanks for everybody that, um, I mean, thanks for doing that, Adam. That's you know a big thing for us here in, in Pinoy Bounce and the Filipino community in Canada. We're all about giving back. And I hope you guys support them. Check them out in a stock company. Buy their travel tags because they're donating a portion of it for the towel victims. And other than that, stay balling.